what I just did to my glove. Shit. stopped the ribbon stopped it's getting dark and if anybody recognizes where this is this may be the last place I'm seen alive what the hell this sucks I'm on a ridge somewhere between Mana Willie and Waimanalo my car is to the left side. Olamon is behind me. I'm headed toward the Kolals. And you're probably going to look back at this video and say, Hey, look, there were ribbons back there. You didn't see them. And that's right, I didn't see them. Why would a colorblind person hike alone? Jesus. Well, we reached a side ridge, pointing roughly in the direction of my car. There goes the ridge I was on, off into infinity. No ribbons. Side ridge has nothing more than a pig trail. Or is it? That right there is a trail. I would love to find a hiking ribbon at any moment. Well, what's the worst that can happen? I fall off a cliff. I guess when you find my body and get the camera, you'll know. Alright, so when you find my dead body at the bottom of a cliff somewhere, here's what happened. You see, I went back to the Mana Willie Ditch Trail until the Mana Willie Demonstration Trail forked off. I turned right, staying on the ditch trail, and eventually went up a ridge to get to the ridge leading to Olamana's backside. When I came back, I passed that ridge that I climbed up looking for a better trail. However, eventually I lost the trail, couldn't find any more hiking ribbons, so I picked out a ridge going downhill leading approximately in the direction, well, it's downhill. It should lead me straight back down to the Monawilly Ditch Trail or the Monawilly Demonstration Trail, one of the two because I'm somewhere in the middle of the fork. So, I'm lost in the woods. It's starting to get dark. And I do have a flashlight. I don't think that's gonna do me a hell of a lot of good in this shit. And hopefully this will just be a funny video I post on Facebook later. Or my eulogy, one of the two. I've seen a couple of pig trails, but so far they haven't been leaving hiking ribbons. Hope I don't run into anything too steep. I guess I'm out for now. Looks like I need two hands up ahead. Alright, I made it off the ridge into a creek bed. So now I'm coming down a crack. I just spotted a plastic bucket first sign of civilization in a while. Hopefully it's not somebody's pot farm. <sighs> the hell would it be a fat bucket back in this creek?
All right, well, down the mountain is the correct direction to get to my car. And uh, I still say, sooner or later, I will intersect either the demonstration or the ditch trail, preferably both, and thus my car. Good luck to me, over and out again. Damn, it's getting dark. Hot diggity dog, get trail. Now, which one is it? Do I turn left? Do I turn right? Does anything look familiar at all? I think I saw this creek bed before. I think this is the ditch trail. Correct, I'm back at my car in five minutes. If I'm wrong, well, it'll be longer. Hmm, there's horse poop. I remember there was horse poop on the trail on the way up. I think I'm right. We'll find out soon. Okay, right after I noticed that I've never seen this part of trail before in my life, I ran into a nice young lady out for a stroll who informed me that the trail cut off is further down. I simply turned the wrong direction. On my way back. Car soon, I hope. water. I can do this all night. I can hear dogs and chickens. I'm getting excited. My car is near. This is why, kids, you should always schedule your hikes for the morning. That way you have plenty of time to complete your hike and get back down the mountain safely. I guess it's not so bad I didn't actually use the flashlight. my car. Nobody breaks into a Volvo. At least not one that old. 